Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Nikki, and I post a variety of different types of videos on this channel, and if you like any of those videos I just popped up on there, then definitely consider subscribing. But anyways, today is another hamster video. I know that I have been posting a lot of hamster videos lately, and um, I promise that I will get back to kind of my regular type videos in the future but right now i have just had a lot of inspiration and a lot of things to film about in terms of like hamster videos and you guys really seem to enjoy my hamster videos a lot they're some of my most viewed videos so you know might as well do it if i want to film it if you guys want to watch it might as well just do it so yeah as you guys can probably tell from the title today i am super excited because I just received this massive package of my 11 inch Woden wheel. Now, a lot of you guys were telling me that I needed to get a bigger wheel in my getting my hamster video, which I'll like put right here, or I'll put it up in the cards as well if you wanna go watch it. Um, I got a lot of people telling me, giving me really, really good suggestions that I needed to get a bigger wheel because I had the 8-inch Woden wheel for Rhino and they were saying that I needed to upgrade and I completely agree. He definitely needs an 11-inch and Syrians should get 11 inches. Ordered one, it just arrived and I'm so excited to unbox this for you guys. And in regards to that video as well, I was getting a lot of suggestions about a bunch of different things that I could do to improve my care and a lot of those things I am taking into account and I am going to do and I'm actually going to do a kind of update on his whole situation soon for any of you guys that are interested. And I also got a lot of criticism about how fast I went in and like tried to like pick him up and force him out of the cage or out of the box that he was in and things like that. And I want to apologize. I know I should be apologizing to Rhino. I I was just very excited that day, obviously, I feel like as anyone would be with when they're getting a new animal. Also, like, my sisters were there and they were kind of, like, telling me to, like, move him out of the cage because they wanted to, like, see him. And yeah, it was my fault. I take all the blame and I do apologize for that. I did let him settle in for a couple days after that and I didn't touch him or come at him with any food or anything like that, so... Yeah, I just wanted to get those things out of the way, but without further ado, let's get on to this unboxing as well as a general review of Wodent Wheels because I have had Wodent Wheels for so many years and I want I think that I can give a pretty good review for any of you guys that are thinking about getting one. These are the 8-inch wheels. I will be going over everything about them and their pros, cons, where you can get them and everything. But without further ado, let's get on to the unboxing first. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the top and I just have my hand here because it has like all the ordering address and everything. So we're just gonna open this box up. It's so big. On the top, there's just this ordering information. The total price of it was $34 after tax. So that's kind of expensive. It was $19.95 and then the shipping was $11.95 and then the tax was $2.16. But I did go on Amazon and that's actually where I ordered this off of. And a lot of the prices were just about this. It was around $30, all the ones that I saw. All right, you guys, so this is the wheel. It looks so good. Here, let me change the camera and I will be right back. This is the wheel. It is so big. Like it is massive in comparison to especially the eight inch. Like look, look at the size comparison. That's crazy. I love the color. I got the black and blue as you guys can obviously see. There are so many color choices, which is one of the pros of the Woden wheels. I cannot wait for Rhino to try this out. I'm sure he's going to love it. It might be a little bit harder for him to push, obviously, than the 8-inch, but I think that he's gonna love it, and obviously no back arc archage, arcage? No back arcage. 
which is one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade him. So yeah, this is the unboxing. I know that that was kind of anticlimactic, but I am in love. I love the light blue and the black, so hopefully if any dirt or grime gets stuck in it, then it won't show on this black because that's one of the actual issues I had with the white base was that you could see like all the grime and stuff whenever I was cleaning it out. So let's go get on to the Woad Wheel overall review. Okay, so for this review, I thought I would start with the pros of the Woad Wheel and I would work my way to the cons. I am mostly just going to be talking about the 8 inch wheels because obviously I just got the 11 inch, but this is just a general review for the Woad Wheel if you are considering getting one. The 8 inch is obviously great for dwarfs and the 11 inch is great for Syrians, which is why I just got mine for my Syrian. Let's move on to some pros. The first pro obviously that you guys can see, these things come in so many different colors. A lot of wheels there's like three color choices, but this there are so many different kinds because there are a front and a back panel and then there is the middle ramp I guess, I'm not really sure what to call this, but there are two different colors which it can really legitimately work with any color selection that you want. If you want to make it look natural, there is a black and green. If you want to make it look colorful, obviously there are a bunch of different ones. Moving on to the wheel itself, it comes in a bunch of different sizes. There are the 8 inch, the 11 inch, and then there's the 12 inch which I don't have. Yeah, there's, the sizes are great for all types of hamsters, robos, dwarfs, Chinese, I think. Chinese can run on 8 inch, they might need 11 inch. These are great for all hamster sizes. In addition to being very colorful, they are also pretty silent. They do make a little bit of a whirring noise. Here, I'll try to see if you guys can hear it. So it's a very light noise in addition to the sound of your hamster actually running on it, which I am going to insert a clip whenever I get one of Rhino running on the wheel so that you guys can get a general feel of how loud it will be. So yeah, for me personally, I don't have Rhino in my room because it's just too noisy at night, even with a wheel that is pretty silent. It's really just your hamster's feet. So with almost any wheel, you are going to have at least a little bit of sound. But with these, it's really great because if they do get squeaky, it's so easy. You can just take it apart, get a little piece of paper, towel, and put some oil, some vegetable oil on it, and you can just um, oil this axis right here and it'll be good for several months after and it will not get squeaky again and that leads me to the next pro of the Woden wheel is that they're very very durable I know that some wheels my silent spinners have actually cracked before I know that I think it's the Trixie wheel I could be wrong but I'll put the name up on the screen if it is the Trixie wheel, but I know that that's a very cheap plastic and I was going to buy that wheel myself actually because it was just so much cheaper. It was like $14 in comparison to $34, but I didn't end up getting that one because I saw a review and it was just very cheap plastic. So that's why I really like these ones because they are not going to break, crack, or really wear and tear at all as long as you keep up with cleaning it they will really stay good for a long time. All right, so now I'm gonna be moving on to the cons. The first con that I thought that I would share with you guys is that there are a lot of parts. So as you can see, there is a little key almost right there keeping the front washer on, this front panel, the middle panel, and then the back, and then there's another washer and it can be hard to assemble it the first time but after you get the hang of it it's pretty easy i'm actually going to disassemble it now so you guys can see the process so the first thing that you're going to do when you have your rodent wheel you are going to pop the key off i'm going to actually take this one because i've used this one the most and it's probably the easiest to get get off so yeah you just pop that little key off the front and then the washer will fall immediately off. And there are a lot of little parts, but as long as you keep them straight, 
it shouldn't be any problem. And then you just take the front off. There's the middle section. There's the this little piece, which this is super important because it keeps this together. And without this, it would be a hot mess. All right, so this actually brings me to my next con is that it can be difficult to wash because you have to disassemble it every single time. There can be a lot of grime and dirt getting stuck in here, especially, I'm not sure if you guys can see. I did just clean it out yesterday, but sometimes grime and dirt can get stuck in here. So that's why I was saying previously, I decided to pick the black base for this one because I didn't think that the dirt would be able to show up as well. So that's definitely a thought when picking the color that you want. So it is definitely a little bit harder than say like an open wheel, like the silent spinner to clean. And it will probably need to be cleaned a little bit more often because poops and pee can get stuck in it easier. But as long as you're cleaning it regularly, some hamsters are really good about not peeing in the wheel. Like my past dwarf little bear, he barely ever peed in the wheel and I had to clean the wheel a lot less than I do for say rhino because rhino pees a lot in the wheel and I have to clean it out constantly just so that it doesn't stink. It depends on your hamster, but you definitely need to clean these wheels probably more than an open wheel, but either way, you'd have to clean it. Next con that I have for you guys is that it is kind of expensive at $34 for this, and I think that the eight inch is a little bit less. I'll put the price right up on the screen for you guys. Uh, either way, it is kind of expensive for this wheel. It is really durable though, so you are paying for a wheel that you can keep for a really long time. I don't really ever see myself getting rid of these wheels, so just keep that in mind when you're buying the wheel. The next con is that there is no back attachment, so if you have a wire wheel, say for the silent spinner, it's easy to just pop that wheel off and attach it to a wire cage, but there is none of that for this, so if that is a deal breaker for you, just keep that in mind. I have seen people actually turn their wheels upside down though and hold them from the top of the, the bars of their cage and just like add the bedding up so that their hamster can get to it and they just like zip tie it to the top of the bars. So that is definitely a possibility. All right, guys, so that sums up today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing me unbox my new 11 inch wheel. I'm so excited and I'm sure Rhino is going to be too. I will definitely try to incorporate some clips from him trying out this wheel for the first time. So I hope this helped you guys decide if you are going to get a Woden wheel. These wheels are seriously great, even though they are expensive. It's so worth it in my opinion. If you're gonna have a hamster, then definitely have some funds to pay for it. That is it. I hope you guys liked it. Please tell me down below if there's any other video suggestions you want me to do. Not Maybe not even like hamster videos, just anything in general. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Three hours later. All right, you guys. So Rhino is running on his 11 inch wheel for the first time. Definitely no back arches. Also, sorry for the lighting right now. It's late. <laughs> uh, it's dark outside. And I love that. And I think Rhino is, he's definitely getting used to it.